Okay, today my guest is Heidi Anspa. She is a master copywriter and she has an amazing new Chrome extension she wants to show you guys so you can stock your Dream 100 and get noticed by them and get on their- Ethically stock. <laughs> <laughs> ethically, yes, ethically. Yeah. Um, and get, you know, get in front of the traffic. And that's what we're gonna be talking about in the next couple of days. So yeah, it's, it's great to have Heidi. Heidi, can you um, let us know all about this Chrome extension? Sure can. It's called Influencer Insider, and um, I just launched it along with Alan Dean's team. I'm, I was the copywriter for the project, so I wrote all the funnel copy, the Chrome store description, uh, the email follow-ups, and all that good stuff, and we're kind of all partnering together. It's really a dream team because Mike Milt is, was the funnel designer and made all our promotional graphics, and Alan, of course, has had many successful Chrome extensions already most notably friend or foe, which is my favorite extension that I use because I've, I mean, not only does it sort my friend requests, which I have a ton of and can't keep up with, but it's led to sales and a lot of people join my Facebook group. So I think he puts out great stuff and he partnered with Michael McDonald on this, who I don't know if you guys know Michael, but he's uh, yeah, an awesome. So. Yeah. 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 Um, he came up with the idea and reached out to Alan to create it because Alan kind of has an offer where he'll help somebody create and launch their own Chrome extension because now he knows how to do it. So that's the brief story behind how Influencer Insider came to be. And I'll tell you when these guys reach out to me about writing their funnel copy, I just felt like immediately this is going to be epic. It's going to be huge. Like this is going to help so many people. So I was completely on board with it. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to show everybody how it works and I'll, okay, I'll do that in just a minute, but um, I just want to, talk a little bit first about why this is helpful and why it's important. Um, since this is a group of people looking to create JVs with other entrepreneurs, I'm sure they're familiar with, you know, the concept of creating relationships with people first, you know, especially big name people. Like, how do you get on their radar? How do you get noticed by them? How do you ethically stalk them? You know, how do you um, even get yourself in a position where you could approach somebody about creating a joint venture? Um, so this is one way to do it that is just going to save a lot of time for people and possibly even money because this typically is a task that someone might assign to their virtual assistant or have an admin take over because it's just so time consuming. So um, how do we get in front of our dream 100? That's the big question here. You know, how do you actually connect with your dream influencers if you're not spending all day on Facebook doing it? Um, so that's why this Chrome extension was created to kind of help solve this basic problem. And also because I feel like this is one of the most powerful organic marketing strategies out there, which is simply to connect with somebody who, who already has the audience that you want, has a business that you want and can promote you. Um, maybe you have something complimentary to offer them and their audiences that would fit in well with their current offer stack. Um, you know, maybe you want them as a client whatever it is, this can be, I mean, I've just seen so many stories of this where it's catapulted somebody to like fame and influence and then making a lot of money themselves. So like a lot of the copywriters I follow that are big names now, like Ian Stanley, he first started making money online because he reached out to Derek Johansson, who has something called Copy Hour, which is you know, like a really good copywriting course and said, hey, I created this email copywriting challenge would you want to share it with your audience he said yes sent it to his email list ian made you know thousands of dollars from it within a couple of days and he was on his way so things like this are really powerful and there's countless stories there's like russell brunson who dream 100 tony robbins you know i think he tried for 10 years before he really got on tony's radar and then got tony to promote his book expert secrets you know last year at fhl tony spoke at his event Tony has um, flown Russell out to Fiji to speak at his mastermind. So like even all the way up to high level people like Tony and Russell, the, the dream 100 thing is real, or as we like to call it, influencer hacking. Um, Cause really you're not only getting on the radar of people you want to get noticed by you're seeing what they're doing and you're modeling what they're doing. You know, you can, look at their marketing strategies, see how they structure their posts, see what kind of offers they're making and try to do similar things in your own business. So that's why I think this is so powerful. And with that intro, let me just go ahead and show you how this works. I'm gonna share my screen. And um, right now this is only working on Facebook, but, and I think most of us probably spend the most of 
most of our time on Facebook, but it is going to extend to other social media platforms. So soon you'll be able to use the same tool on Instagram, TikTok, possibly YouTube, LinkedIn. So it's, I really think it's going to be huge. So I have it installed right here in my dashboard. My, you can see the icon in my browser. I just click on it. And right away, um, what rolls out is a list of everybody I'm currently following. And if there's like a number by it, it'll that indicates that they've, you know, posted something new since the last time I checked. You can add up to 100 people in here. Wow. So we got Russell at the top, you know, Russell, Julie, Rachel S. Lee. She's somebody I dream 100 a while ago. Like I'm the copy coach in her program. We were in the same group coaching program together. So she kind of knew who I was oh, great. looking for a copywriter. Yeah, I think Mike Milt tagged me in her post. I wrote her copy. Then she hired me as a coach and we've done a lot of projects together. So great. here's Mike Milt, my buddy, Alan everybody on my team, you can see if they posted. I've even put myself in here just to kind of see what other people are seeing. Okay. I'm only just getting started. Like I've only added like 10 people, but I'll, I'll show you guys too in a bit how to add somebody. But here's what happened when you, once you click on somebody you've added. Um, you can see over here, like the, there'll be links to all of his other social media channels. So you can just click and go there, which is helpful. You can see kind of the top stats right here. You know, how many comments he's made I, since the last scan. I think it scans once every 24 hours. This is cool too. You can see what Facebook groups he's in. Like what Facebook groups does Russell Brunson join? I've discovered a couple of pretty cool Facebook groups that I had no idea existed just by seeing what my influencers were in. Because, you know, they're probably more selective than a lot of us. Like I'm in 260 Facebook groups. And I think a lot of those are like my friends and clients that I've been supporting and stuff like that. He's only in 38. Yeah. So if you look at it, yeah. I mean, sure, a lot of them are going to be his own groups, but it's also going to be interesting to see what they are. So let's see if this loads. I think this is being a little slow right now. Yeah, I'm trying to close up some windows that I have. Oh, that might be my problem too. Well, that is not wanting to load right now, but I'll move on and show you something else. Um, also, you can, I think all of these go to his business page. So if you wanted to see like, what videos has he done lately? Like, has he done any lives? Is there something I missed? You can go straight to there and check on it. Um, you can see both videos of Russell. So like things, he was filmed in. I think that's something from like the last Funnel Hacking Live. Um, you can see what he's posted. Something about Easter, a little Easter message. Here, let me turn that off. So stuff like that is cool. You know, if you want to just go straight to like you're interested in seeing their videos or their photos or whatever. And then if you click over here on timeline, this is where it gets cool. You can see all of the, the posts and comments from the last 24 hours. So um, you can see what other people have commented on his posts. You know, I can already see people I know here. Melissa Alves commented on something Russell posted. Um, and you can see what he's posted too. So just anything he's done lately, you can go straight to it. So the, here's again is that um, Easter video that he did. So being able to just go straight to this stuff, I think is a huge time saver because think about it. If you didn't have just this Chrome extension, you could click on and have it roll out just with one click, see what they posted with one more click, go straight to it. You would have to what go to Facebook, you know, enter your influencer's name in the search, go to their page. <laughs> Yeah. You know, scan, stuff. see what's there. It's it's like five clicks as opposed to one and then kind of read through everything and, and comment. And I mean, the way to get noticed is to be present. Russell Brunson even said that himself. Alan Dean was on like a special VIP call for some of Russell's top affiliates and somebody asked, hey, what's the best way to get noticed by one of your dream influencers? And he just said, be present. So it really is taking this daily action to go see what people you admire are posting, make sure you go read it, comment on it. Even if you just throw an emoji on it, they're going to get used to seeing your name. I mean, if you comment and add value, that's even better. And then so at, at 
a later date, you know, it, it would be more natural to kind of hit them up in DM or even respond to one of their emails if you're on their list and be like, hey, you know, I'm Heidi and you might have seen my comments on your posts about copywriting or whatever and I had an idea for you or something like that. Um, so this is really just a shortcut because you can sure. do it all from your dashboard. Yeah, Let's that's great. Yeah. Um, anybody watching um give me a hashtag live hashtag replay and let us know where you're coming from today um if you have any questions drop them in for heidi and uh if she doesn't get them today she'll get to them later um yes. but yeah i mean anyone that's seen the marley jack's testimony she did for me um you know, i've been following marley for about two years now and she's the same thing she's like james i see you everywhere you're on my youtube channel you're <laughs> in my facebook group you joined my my course and, and you know so when i reached out for an interview it was like a no-brainer but i mean that's a lot of steps to always be checking her what she's posting right so i mean something like this is such a time saver um you load in your you said like your top 100 if you want or even pare mm -hmm. it down and just focus on the, the key people that you want to get in touch with that's you know, get noticed by them. That's, that's massive. Absolutely. And, you know, I think you could, if you just took 15 minutes every morning to go through, you know, your dashboard and just click on everybody and go to their posts and leave a comment, it's going to save you so much time and you're going to be on their radar. Um, you'll stay present. So the way people did this before, I think it would take them hours. You had, you had to do a lot of searching and the Facebook search bar, or, you know, a lot of people use spreadsheets to track this stuff. Um, that's kind of what is advised by other, um, you know, people who teach about the Dream 100 is to like keep a spreadsheet where you got to have their name, who the influencer is, the date they posted, the link to the post, maybe some comments on what it's about. And then you, you got to open up the spreadsheet again, go back, click on the link, see if anyone, if they've responded to you or not. You can now just save yourself the time and hassle and just use this awesome Chrome extension. And that's, that's so, what it's all about, right? Heidi is the time. Yeah. I mean, yeah. um, you know, you say you're working with Alan and Mike, um, you know, sure. Someone might be able to make a Chrome extension all by themselves, but to have put a team together so you can all do different elements. That's, that's such a great thing. Like it's um, it's wonderful to see, like you're, you're doing this thing with him and um, yeah, it's such a time saver. And that's as entrepreneurs, I mean, you know, for the past two years, that's the past year, at least I've really noticed this. It's when you can get someone else to do what you need to do. You're not the greatest at, you know, mm -hmm. it can save you a lot of time. So you don't have to go and learn all this other stuff. That's right. And the other thing, you know, I want to make sure people understand is like looking at what people are doing is not just because you're stalking them or hoping they notice you. It's see, like model what they're doing. We don't need to be pioneers all the time. We don't need to do everything from scratch. I mean, Russell Brunson always says, don't reinvent the wheel, model what works. You know, that's what funnel hacking is all about. We're not copying these people. You can certainly you know, spend part of your time looking at their stuff to really analyze they're doing like this is a long story post. It looks like that Julie Stoyan put up um, and she's talking about what led to them, you know, choosing the theme for their virtual events marketers heart. And she's going into like the whole story about it. She's really sharing the journey that led them to choose unapologetically you what that means to them. Um, you know, she's even talking about having to close down a thread in the group that got out of hand. Uh, I know what thread she's talking about it because I saw that it was about the Rachel Hollis kind of controversy. Yeah, I which, heard um, it yesterday. Yeah, which again is like that's another reason to use this software. Sometimes you also want to make sure that an influencer you're following is somebody you really are still ethically aligned with who matches your values because sometimes people get big success and their true personalities come out like they're not hiding who they are anymore whereas maybe before they were yeah. or you know they were presenting a certain image that's turned out not to be legit so you know if i was following rachel hollis as one of my dream influencers and saw that tiktok video she put up i'd be like oh yeah okay i'm gonna X. unfollow wait a minute X. <laughs> like you know and i'm not saying that's the choice everybody should make or like trying to um uh, go after rachel hollis but that's that's a primo example you know you make sure that the influencers you're following are people that you truly should be following and are aligned with and respect and like and um because that way you won't feel 
like you got ripped off if you end up working with them, you know, spending a lot of money with them, buying their courses, buying their coaching program, something like that. Mm -hmm. So, um, Uh, if I I could just interject, uh, interject one thing here. Um, when I found out about this Rages Hollis thing, and then it was Ali Burek who did a Instagram, uh, kind of a story thing on the whole situation. And Dean Graziosi tells this story of how, um, when he first started out and when he's first being successful, he had someone cutting his grass and because he can afford it, right? Like paying a guy 25 bucks an hour or something to cut the grass. And what Dean can do on the, in his office costs more than 25 bucks an hour. So when Rachel, I mean, I'm not defending the way she's what she said, but I mean, she makes a lot of money. So she has someone come in and I mean, maybe it's more than clean toilets. Maybe it's someone that cleans her house. <laughs> Right. I mean, yeah. I mean, just the way she phrased it was kind of rude, but um, yeah. yeah, I mean, successful people, people really have house that. workers, right? So it's, you know, that's, and it saves you time from doing it. So I just wanted to say that. Yes. Um, so yeah, make sure, you know, you, you're following the right people. Um, yes. And like, if going back to kind of analyzing what people are doing. I mean, I could really look at this from a copywriter standpoint and breaking down, break down exactly what Julie's doing here. You know, she's like making a connection between coming up with the theme of her events and um, not being afraid to show up as yourself, even if some people aren't fans. Then she relates it to the Rachel Hollis um, story. Um, And then she like kind of teaches some lessons based on that, um, becoming which are like becoming unapologetically uh, eh, unapologetically yourself doesn't mean a life without apology in the journey to finding your voice you're going to mess up that's not the problem it's how you clean it up the count so she was able to take this and turn it into a message and relate it back to what she's doing which i think was quite brilliant because you know the reason i follow and like julie stoyan is because she's all about being an ethical marketer she's very much anti-bro marketing which is kind of that aggressive spammy you mm-hmm. know going hard for the sale way to do it um and she's about like leading with your heart so it's it's cool to me to see this post where she's making all of that clear she's taking this as an opportunity to restate her values and that's creating a deeper connection with her audience so i look at this post i'm like wow this is great like then if you want to save this you know you still don't have to use a spreadsheet you could just go click save post and you know just maybe i'll save it under mindset i don't know but um yeah that's what is great about this software i think you can follow whoever you want you can go to their post with one click um it's it's going to make your it much easier to make um tracking your dream 100 part of your daily routine because i think so many of us want to do this we talk about doing this we learned you know those of us who went through the one funnel way challenge during traffic week, you know, Russell really talks about this as a method. He's got a chapter on it in his book, Traffic Secrets. Um, We know this is something that works and and can have massive results, but so few of us actually take the time to do it. And it's because it's so time consuming, but not anymore, not now that we have Influencer Insider and um, it's available in the store now, Chrome store, you guys can get it. Um, James, like maybe you could drop the link. I don't know if I sent you that, but you can drop the link. You guys can check it out. And also, I just want to mention briefly, we are opening up an affiliate program for this, I believe, next week. And there's going to be cash prizes. And what's really great about it is this is a monthly subscription product. So if you're able to make sales, you're creating some nice monthly recurring revenue for yourself because you'll get paid out every month. It's like ClickFunnels or like Alan's other software, Friend or Foe. I get payments from Friend or Foe every month. And it's just really nice to have that. And it's going to be fun. Alan always makes affiliate contests fun because he does prizes and, um, you know, just makes the competition like exciting. So I hope you guys will not only check out the software, but join us for the affiliate program. And I will just mention, you do have to be a user of the software in order to be able to sell it as an affiliate. So, but hey, check it out. I think you're going to love it and become an affiliate and make some money off it at the same time. You can make it pay for itself. 
Oh yeah, for sure. Um, like you said, you just have to, you know, put it in your units in your Facebook group, do a YouTube video about it. Like you just did right now. And I mean, people are on your podcast yeah. and people will sign up under the link. So, and that's what yeah. it's all about is getting traffic to it and, you know, getting noticed by your dream 100 is just, it's just amazing. I mean, I've seen so many guys on, on my level getting interviews with bigger names because they're doing what they're doing and that's the dream 100. So, um, yeah, yeah it's massive. Well, it sounds like you, maybe you could share your dream 100 stories. It sounds like you've got some really great connections with people like Marley Jacks. Um, I saw that, you know, Rachel Lee, Melissa Ricker are all yeah, that. Yeah. Well, when I first started, um, I, you know, I mean, I was a real estate investor for 10 years. Then when I got out of that, I was like trying to figure out a few months later, I got the itch. I want to make some more money. And then I, I found uh, Rachel S. Lee's video on YouTube. And then she was talking about the one funnel away challenge. And I was like, click funnels. And I was like, oh, okay. So I signed up for her bonuses. And um, then later on, she offered a course. Um, I mean, I was in her Facebook group. And then uh, she offered her eco traffic system uh, program and I signed up for that and I worked with her. I ended up getting four interviews with her and she's wow. on my podcast a couple times. I'm in her group actually being interviewing her and uh, she's in my group interview, being interviewed. So and then making affiliate commissions off of her course. So, yeah. um, you know, and you get noticed and um, I did the same thing with Melissa Ricker, Melissa Ricker, actually Alex Elliott, uh, she suggested, James, why don't you, you know, you're always talking about your kids and your family life as a father, why don't yeah. you follow Melissa Ricker? And I didn't know who she was until that retreat they had um, with Russell Brunson for the being the top one funnel away affiliates. And then when Alex suggested yeah. that, I said, okay, so I checked her out, I joined her group and here's a woman that goes live in a group every Monday uh, at noon central time and it's like wow this is great yeah. and just the way she taught so i said melissa i want to sign up for your program i've been in her program for over a year now and um, she hit the two comma club i think it was just after christmas or just before christmas so i'm yeah. really excited for her um, and working with her is great and, and the good thing is she's a wonderful human being and that's the key right like um you know and again then i got her on my podcast a couple times and uh, i'm going to be doing an interview with her in a couple more weeks so yeah i mean it's you just have to get in front of these people either on their youtube channel or in their facebook group or wherever they're publishing and then you get noticed and then you know it's finally great i mean if you have a publishing like where you get to interview people you actually get to know them right like yeah. i mean i haven't done an interview uh, a couple weeks ago it was my first interview in a while like months and then after each interview, I was talking with these people for like a half an hour. It was just, it was great connecting with them. So, and that's why I started my podcast. And that's why I started my interview process with the Facebook groups, because it's, we're human yeah. beings. We like to connect with others and we like to serve others. So if you yeah. can connect with a higher end person and help them solve the problem, and that's what the JV thing is going to be all about, then Absolutely. you can get noticed even more. So yeah, joint JVs are great. Dream 100 strategy is great. I mean, we are all just humans and I hear, from a lot of people, they're afraid to reach out to big name influencers, like to approach them about a podcast interview or come into their group. But the fact is these people love to talk about what they're doing. They like to talk about themselves and their offers. And, um, you know, maybe they will turn you down if your group is tiny, but if you have a fair amount of people, I think your chances are really good for getting one of these people to come into your group and your chances are even better if you're using influencer insider and going to their posts and commenting every day and being present and vis visible. Cause that's really what this is about making yourself more visible yeah. and building oh, relationships. Yeah, sure. yeah. Once you get noticed and you know, those influencers see you and then they, they reach out with, you know, you see on Instagram, they might not, they might not heart you or they will heart you. And then when they, you leave them a message, you know, once they get to know you, then they message you back. And then it's like, wow, okay, so that person's actually connecting with me. So that's kind of cool. And then when, you know, you ask them for something later, then it, it can, it's easier. So getting in front yeah. of these people is huge. And it grows your, like, for instance, when I did my podcast, when I launched it, I did it with eight entrepreneurs. And um, it was part of a bigger summit. And some of these entrepreneurs, like Rachel Leslie and Melissa Ricker and James Smiley, you know, Alan Dean and uh, a bunch of others, Bailey Rickard, like they're big name people. And then other people see me doing that and it just increases my status. So yeah. I encourage everybody, get on the Dream 100, get yourself a group, get yourself a podcast, get yourself a YouTube channel, whatever, and make your traffic happen. Because once it starts to flow, then you'll be all good. Yeah, get yourself a platform and start publishing and reach out to your Dream 100 and get them on there. Yeah, It's a great, great way to connect with them.
for sure. Um, I'm just going to check the comments. We got Callan from Michigan, Michigan calling in today, coming in. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Callan. Yeah, I've noticed Callan for quite a while. He's been in my group, I think, since I started it. Um, nice. Yeah. So, yeah, if there's any questions anybody has, guys, just drop them down below and we'll answer your questions, you know, probably within the next day or two. So, yeah, <laughs> sorry about weird. that. I'm trying to connect to your uh, Facebook group so I can drop the link. It's not okay, letting me, okay. but I will make sure to do that uh, yeah, today, okay. like right after we yeah. get off. <laughs> for sure. But Heidi, I want to thank you again for coming on. It's just amazing um, connecting with you again. And um, yeah, it's, it's great always when you get to talk with your Facebook friends.